Voting lines have been closed and it's all system score for the fourth edition of African Influencer Awards, which will take place at Impala Events and Conference Center on the 26th of October in Bulawayo. This year's event is running under the theme celebrating the contributions of youth entrepreneurs on the economic growth in Zimbabwe and across Africa. The red carpet event starts at 5 p.m. with the dress code being elegant black, gold and white. Holy Stacy, Quasi, Golden Circle and Drea will be setting the stage on fire with their performances. Whilst others are closing voting lines, others are opening them. The Zim Hip Hop Awards are sniffing for the dopest hip hop artists to nominate for the 14th edition of the ceremony. Submit your content on their official page before the 1st of November in order to qualify. The adjudication process will start from the 4th of November till the 15th of November, with the nominees being announced on the 18th of November. This year's edition will feature the new spoken word category, which seeks to appreciate the lyricist in the game. On the 11th and the 13th of October at Mbari Art Space, witness the cinematic splendor of grand motion picture projects from Europe and Africa by independent film productions. On the 18th to the 20th of October at Sturkine Kogwa you experience the thrill of films like Thirst, Father's Day, Untitled Skates and many more. The participants of this year's Biscope competition will stand a chance to win 200 to 400 US dollars based on their categories. The festivities are not yet over and Freeman is attesting to that as he is set to launch the first edition of HKG Festival at Alice Sports Club in Harare on the 26th of October 2024, featuring Rose JT, Holy Ten, Takura, Darula, Top 10, DJ Mambo and many more. This would mark his sixth performance of his tour which began on the 28th of September in Pindura. He is set to turn it up on the 2nd of November at Kadoma, Vibe It Up in Kwekwe on the 9th of November, Burn It Up in Cape Town on the 6th of December, Roll It Up in Joburg on the 7th of December, Ricochet to Motherland on the 25th of December for his performance in Harare, followed by a billing on the 27th of December in Bulawayo, wrap up the year at Chinoy on the 31st of December. Freeman is not the only one touring, or Babes Bambu they are bringing their tour to USA after a successful run in Europe from May in Austria to June in Germany. The USA tour, which began on the 4th of October, will see Nobuntu performing at various theaters, art hubs, and institutions till the 17th of November 2024 at La Jolla, California, courtesy of 10th District. After winning an award at this year's Klima Awards, Everton Lalazi is in high spirit as he embarks on his Spirit of Praise tour. The tour, which began on the 7th of September in Durban, South Africa, will feature acts from Elaine Makombe, Vocal X, Benjamin Dube, Dumi Mokostad, and many more. He will be gracing Harare HICC on the 12th of October. Tickets are available at Buddhist Pharmacies, Rainbow Towers, Med Orange Pharmacies, and Gateway Streams for a price range of 10 US to 50 US. On the 13th, he will be at Bulawayo's Harvest House International Conference behind the ZAC. Purchase your tickets at Buddhist Pharmacies Harvest House International Church branches. He is set to perform in Pulukwane on the 26th of October, Carnival City on the 6th and 7th of December and top it off in Rustenburg on the 14th of December 2024. Everton Nellas is not the only gospel sensation making moves. Janet Manua has been nominated for the 10th edition of African Entertainment Awards USA, along with Holy Ten, Japraza, Pokelo, Minister Mahendere, Feli Nandi, Kin Mashapaite, and Thomas Ntini to be held at New Arc on the 9th of November 2024. Voting line closes on the 2nd of November. On the 25th of October, she will be launching her album, Worship Moments, at the Celebration Center for her. She is billed to perform in Austria on the 8th and on the 10th of November 2024, with special guest appearances at 
this year's Wangovas reloaded on the 13th of December at Harvest House International Center, the one behind Abazak in Bulawayo. Tickets are available at Harvest House Churches and King's Pharmacy for 10 US for general admission, 20 US for VIP, and 30 US for VVIP. Baba Harare's transition to gospel has been successful as his hottest single, Sukai, has peaked at number one after his three weeks run on the Star FM gospel chart. To further cement his status as a gospel artist, he has released an EP titled My Testimony and a new name. He is now known as King David. The project has been successful with the EP receiving over 150,000 streams on its first week. Catch him live at Hallowed 2024 at Risk Park at Joburg South on the 2nd of November alongside Michael Mahendere, Matthias Mere, Dorcas Moyo and many more. Tickets are available for 350 rands at CompuTicket. Baba Harare is not the only one turning over a new leaf. My TT has also made the transition to gospel music to critical acclaim, as her latest single has been spotted on radio gospel charts. The controversial influencer has had a draft this year from sexual allegations, deportation and arrest. It has truly been deep. Fortunately, she is rising over the tide by reforming her ethos. On the 26th of October, she will be launching her album Tino Tender at Longchain Plaza in Harare with supporting ex from Dokas Moyo, Matthias Mere and many more. After signing a distribution deal with Virgin Music Group, Saint Flo will be launching his album at Alex Sports Club in Harare on the 12th of October with performances from Vos JT, Master H, Questa and many more. The singles to this album have been performing well on the streaming platforms as they've garnered over 250,000 hits on their first week. Two-time Grammy Award winning artist Bernie Spear will be dishing out his hits at Glamis Arena on the 18th of October alongside Killer T, Merciless, Judgment Yard and many more as part of his One People Africa Tour powered by Sound System and Friends in Jamaica. If reggae is not your jam, groove to the sounds of Jay's Marabini's latest album, Inkeme Inkeme, on the 19th of October at the Academy of Music, Wabulawayo, as he dishes out his classics alongside Mzo Seven, Mbeu, Tandilana, and many more. Entrance is 10 US and 20 US for VIP. Don't forget to grab that copy on your way out. In remembrance of Eric Pelimoyo, Vocal X, Musa Yende, Snowy and Friends will be churning their hits at Folk Auditorium Wabulawayo on the 19th of October. Tickets are 10 US for kids and youths with toddlers and senior citizens entering for 5 US dollars. Let's give a moment of silence to the 46-year-old, a band with a no-name founder, Ishmael Lije Mubingi, who passed away on the 22nd of September this year.